How y'all doing? Curdy Cool is back again. I hope you guys are having a beautiful night. I know you guys had a beautiful day today. Y'all know to me. Curdy Cool. Wow. My talk tonight is hey, you guys be careful and be safe out here, y'all. I mean, there's some crazy stuff going on out here in this world, y'all. I'm going to share some things what happened here. But uh, yesterday, last night, I mean, people are losing their mind, y'all. Check this out, y'all. I was visiting my twin yesterday, probably about 8 or 9 o'clock. We, we was just hanging out at the house, you know. So we decided to go to the store. And so I backed into the store. I was sitting in the car. He went in the store. Come back, got in the car. Y'all check this out now. The road right here, the main, the main highway just runs across like this. Out of nowhere, y'all. God lose his mind. I mean, you hear him yelling out. The coronavirus took my mom, my father. I lost my job. I don't have no money. They don't want to give us no stimulus check. I mean, the guy just lost it, y'all. So he jumped in his car. Guess what he do, y'all? This guy put his feet to the pedal, y'all, and just went speeding down one end of the street, just spinning all around, just gave up in life. Black smoke flying everywhere. Then he come back the other, from the other direction, just flying down the street to light, spinning all around, all around, in the middle of the street, just all over the place, running into cars, y'all. I mean, this guy was trying to kill himself, y'all. So we was like at unbelief, like, wow, y'all. You know, the twin hollered out, man, what we gonna do, man? What we gonna do? And so this guy was running into a whole lot of cars, y'all. Just smoke, smoke was flying everywhere. Black smoke was flying everywhere, man. So he kind of like just panicked. And I just simply told him, look, man, let's just, Let's just relax, let's relax. So he shouted out, maybe you ought to just take off, man, just take off. I said, no, man, if, if I if I just, just take off and this guy come flying back down right behind me and just run into me, because he's putting his feet on the pedal all the way to the floor, you know, speeding as fast as the car would go because he has given up on life so the moment the twin was telling me you ought to just hurry up take off turn right the guy come flying back down the street again I mean just doing a hundred miles 150 miles an hour just spinning rubber spinning tired the car about to lift off off the ground y'all he was running all into cars just backing up running into people cars going down in the ditch coming out we was like at unbelief, y'all. So I was telling Twin, look, man, just just relax, you know. I got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure up a way how to get us out of this, you know. I, I feel like the good Lord got us, you know. You know what I mean? I got a guardian angel here, y'all. So Curdy cool, you know. I'm like in the car, crank the car, y'all. I'm like looking for my looking for my opportunity. So that I can make my little escape, you know, out of there before this guy run into me, you know. So I kind of, you know, looked in my mirror. I kind of, okay, it seemed like there's a couple of car spots in the back of me where I can just, if it comes to that point, looks like he was running into some more cars. Look like he's going to run direct head on to me. I'm just going to quickly put the car in, re in reverse and just back up, you know, as far as I could. You know, two or three cars, you know? So anyway, the twin was panicking. You know, what 
we gonna do, man? What we gonna do, man? This guy gonna kill everybody. You can hear him screaming and hollering, you know. Mom and dad, you know, lost their lives in the coronavirus. They won't give us the stimulus check. I ain't got no money. I lost my job. I mean, this guy had lost his freaking mind. He go flying back down one end of the street to the light, just spinning all around, burning rubble, y'all. Car spinning around and round and round and all over the place, y'all. Then he come flying back down to the other end doing 100 miles an hour, y'all. Running into cars, he just didn't give a damn, y'all. Security crew, I'm like, hey, twin, just, just relax, man. I, I got this, man. Just, just relax. This is not a time when you are in a desperate situation. Don't lose your cool. That is the worst thing that you can do is lose your cool when you get into a life or a death situation. I told the twin, look, man, just kind of relax, man. You know, I'm going to figure this out here, how I'm going to deal with this, you know? So that fool went flying back down the opposite direction. So the, the minute, it was kind of like a point where he was waiting for people to try to make an escape route. So it was the minute when he looked like that this guy was going to like just keep going, he would instantly just spin right back around again and come flying back the other direction. Whoever would try to run out, he would quickly spin around hoping that he would run into him head on. You know what I mean? So now I'm sitting back. No, no, I can't, can't do it now, twin. I, I just got to wait up. I got to hold up on this one, y'all. Can't do it, you know. I said, I got a, a, an escape route plan mapped out. You know, I looked in my mirror. I got two or three car spaces that I can back up quickly. If this guy come plowing into all the cars over here and running into people, y'all, at least I'll be able to save save, save our lives, here, you know. So he, 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 he would run back down one end of the street. He would not give nobody a chance to... To get out of there, then he spin all the way around, then he go running, flying back down the opposite end of the street. I mean, that was some crazy stuff, y'all. So finally, he he run back, he 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 he, he go flying down the street the other way, spinning all around, just spinning all around, all around, just spinning all around. Just gave up on life, y'all. So now Kurt Cool, I'm like, wow, man. You can hear people screaming and hollering all over the place. So I said, twin, check this out, man. The next time when he go flying, flying back down the opposite direction, that's when I'm flying out right behind his ass and make me a quick right and get up out of here, baby. And that is exactly what I did. <laughs> I got out of there so smooth and cool, you know. I mean, he went flying. And I like, whoop, I was gone, baby. I got lost. I can see him. He spinning around, spinning around. Where did he go? Did, did, he, did he get out? <laughs> he went flying down the opposite end of the street again, y'all. So we, I looked in the mirror, and this guy was, was steady, just spinning around in the street, just gave up, y'all. I never seen nothing like this in my life, y'all. Now, let me back this up because I remember the last time when I was in California a little while ago. I was at a hotel. It was some guys who was doing the exact same thing right out in the hotel parking lot. But it was not as near about as bad as this was that happened last night, y'all. This was a die or death situation because of the way this guy was spinning around, you know, in the, in the middle of the street, y'all. Just spinning around and around and around and doing 150 miles an hour and black smoke flying all over the place, y'all. I mean, I saw this stuff in California out in the parking lot, but it wasn't this bad. So, hey, y'all be careful out here. People are flipping. They are losing their mind, y'all. And, and you got to think very quickly when you
When you get caught up in a situation and you don't know what you're going to do, you better have yourself a escape plan because there's some stuff going on out here. I mean, I pray and wish that they would just go ahead on and give everybody the stimulus check. Just give everybody the stimulus check, y'all. There's too many people out here without money. I mean, they're they losing everything out here. No job. Y'all know what I mean? No money. Y'all know what I mean? They're losing it. They had a whole lot of family members to, to lead this world due to this coronavirus, y'all. Just give everybody the stimulus check and just get it over with so that everybody can go back to the mall and go shopping, baby. Man, I wish the government would wake up and go on and do this stuff, y'all. I mean, the people need the assistance. We need it out here really bad. So anyway, this is Curdy Cool. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to the show. Y'all be safe and be careful out here. I tell you, it's, 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 it's a whole lot of crazy stuff going on out here. I hope, I sure hope it get better, y'all. Because this stuff is getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Y'all know what I mean? I mean, I was sitting here talking about this crazy Patricia Robinson scam. Then all of a sudden, see all this crazy stuff going on out here. A guy just gave up on life. Spinning all around in the street trying to kill people. Trying to run out. Run all over people in his car. You know what I mean? That was crazy, y'all. It's a whole bunch of crazy people out here. Just doing a whole lot of crazy stuff out here, y'all. And do not give a damn about who they hurt, y'all. So y'all just be careful. Keep your eyes open. Stay smooth and cool and safe like Curdy Cool, y'all. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell, y'all. Hit the bell, baby. Come on, support Curdy Cool, you know. Curdy Cool out here trying to get a story out here about this baby scammer. Patricia Ann Robinson, that woman knows she is not right. That Patricia Robinson, that baby scammer, the one that I've been talking about on my page, that's another crazy ass woman just doing all that crazy stuff, y'all. Scam my baby mother out of our kid. Messed her all up, took her mind. Won't even let this grown ass woman contact the baby father. And I'm paying child support, y'all. And this crazy Patricia Robinson is running and hiding out in Marino Valley, California, collecting the money. Took the baby mother mind. I guess she called herself taking my daughter's mind because she will not let her have any kind of contact with me. Won't let her have no kind of contact with her father. Just scamming child support, scamming SSI, you know. This wicked witch is all about a check. That's all she wants is a check, man. Some crazy ass people out here, y'all. You know, y'all know what I mean? I mean, this woman do something like this. I'm talking about this crazy ass Patricia Robinson, y'all. Y'all check out my story, Patricia Robinson scam, grandmother baby scam. Just on my home, from my home page, just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and, and just look for Grandmother Baby Scam, my true story, y'all. I've been talking about this stuff for years, y'all. About this crazy-ass Patricia Robinson. That is one crazy-ass woman. And I'm gonna keep on exposing her. You know what I mean? She did not have to do this kind of stuff. You, you know, y'all know what I mean? If she would came at me clean, everything would stay smooth and cool. You, you know what I mean? But you think I'm gonna sit around and you got a crazy ass woman, you, you know what I mean? Who destroyed the baby mother mind because she's only using the system to abuse the system for her own personal gain. So she destroyed the baby mother mind. 
and working on my daughter at the same time and are running and hiding out in California, y'all. Patricia Rubs, you watching this video? You are one crazy ass woman. One day, Patricia Robinson, you are going to you are going to reap what you sow because ain't no way on heaven or earth that you think that you can just hurt innocent people, dog people out, misuse and abuse, hurt innocent kids. Y'all know what I mean? Mess over people for your own personal gain. So don't think that you are going to have luck from here on out. It, it don't work like that. Y'all know what I mean? A whole bunch of crazy people out here who are only thinking about themselves and what they can get out of this situation, y'all. I'm glad I wasn't brought up like that, y'all. I'm glad I was brought up into a good home, good morals, good values, good principles, y'all. To treat all people with love, dignity, and respect, y'all. Not go around here with all this hate in your heart and trying to steal other people's belongings and mess over people. You, you know what I mean? I'm so glad and so happy that I was not brought up like that. You know, Patricia Robinson, man, that is a low-life woman, y'all. She had a terrible upbringing to hate on a father for being a father to his own kid. I'm talking about this old crazy-ass adopted grandmother, Patricia Ann Robinson. One big old scam artist out in Moreno Valley, California. Man, that woman is wicked as hell, y'all. To do something like this. And don't give a damn, y'all. Anytime you got people out here who do all this crazy stuff and don't give a damn, they are stone-cold narcissists. Psychopaths, y'all. Don't give a damn about you. you. You know what I mean? Don't give a damn about you. Nobody. If you don't give a damn about my blood kid in that home, you don't give a damn about nobody because you are hurting her just by parental alienating her away from her father. Y'all know what I mean? That Patricia Robinson is going to have to pay for that one day. So anyway, this is Curdy Cool, y'all. I'm going to end this show. I appreciate you guys for tuning in once again. Y'all just keep me in, in your prayers. The good Lord, I know you got this because I'm stronger. I'm stronger than ever. You know what I mean? This wicked witch thought that she could break me down and mess me up. And she thought that she would force me to have a heart attack or a stroke worried, worried about this crazy ass woman. The good Lord has got me. The good Lord has made me stronger than ever because the good Lord already told me that he is going to deal with this crazy ass Patricia Robinson when she are least expected, y'all. Ain't no way here on earth that you think that you can go around misuse and abuse people and that you think that you are going to have good luck here on out. Mm -hmm. It don't work like that, baby. It do not work like that. So anyway, Curdy Cool. I'm going to end this show. I appreciate you guys for tuning in one more time. Hello to all the good people out there. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good. And have another beautiful night. Curdy. Curdy. Curdy Cool. Okay, bye.